what is up? What is up, you guys? Welcome back. We are on week eight. This is your 5K time trial week, and let me tell you, you got to mentally prepare yourself. This is it. We've done eight weeks of training leading up to this. Hopefully, you've done most of it, and it'll show this Saturday. But as we prepare for Saturday, I want to physically get you ready for what you're about to face. So on Monday of this week, we're doing seven minutes of running, two minutes of walking, five minutes of running, one minute of walking, and you just do that twice. Tuesday of this week, as always, is optional, but we're doing a 35-minute jog walk. Again, this is just to get you out there, get those legs going, and I would encourage you, do that jog walk. Wednesday of this week is a little bit more difficult. We're doing that three-mile distance again, and this time we're doing it the same numbers from Monday. So seven minutes of running, two minutes of walking, five minutes of running, one minute of walk. We're really decreasing that walking time now and pushing into that running time. And your run should be something faster than your jog, and if you can't pull off the run for the full distance, that's okay. Go for the jog. Slow it down a little bit, but don't get rid of it. Don't drop to that walk. You're going to have to push yourself. Thursday is, again, that 35-minute optional jog walk. Again, I would encourage you to do it at least a little bit. Friday, we're switching it up just a little bit again. We're doing 10 minutes of running, 2 minutes of walking, 3 minutes of running, and then 2 minutes of walking. I really want you to push on this one, okay? Because Saturday is our 5K time trial. Saturday is the thing that we've been building up to. After you finish Friday, make sure you do a nice little cool-down walkout so that we're ready for Saturday. I do want I want to walk you through a little bit of, of time trial prep for Saturday before we get out of here. First, make sure you know your distance. Hopefully by now you've already done enough running around your area or jogging around your area that you know where your three mile distance is. I would encourage you to do the course that you've been doing for those three mile workouts on Wednesdays because you already know it mentally. You're going to know where you are in those different areas. Also, remember that a 5K time trial is technically 3.1. So please, get in your car, take your phone, grab your watch, whatever it is that you're tracking, and measure out that distance accurately. Know that you're getting that time trial, and you won't be surprised when you show up on race day and you end up being 40 seconds slower than you thought you would be. That point one will take up a good chunk of your time, a good 30 seconds to a minute, so be prepared for that. On Saturday, when you get up, make sure you, you know, eat a light breakfast or something to get some food in you, drink some water, get hydrated, do a light warm-up. I would recommend doing at least a five to 10 minute warm-up before you get ready for this time trial. Under Understand that this is your first time racing or really pushing hard for 3.1 miles. This time there are no brakes built in. This is you pushing as hard as you can for as long as you can. If you can't make it as hard as you can, as long as you can for that 5K, that's okay. Slow it down to that jog, slow it down to that walk if you need to. Goal here is just to get a baseline. This is a time trial to figure out where you are as we build up to that four week finish. Understand that this time trial is extremely important because now we're going to take a time from the time trial and put it into a training times calculator. I haven't gone over the training times calculator with you guys in this course yet but there is a training times calculator video that if you haven't watched yet you need to go watch because on Saturday when you complete your 5k time trial you're putting that time into the training times calculator and that's going to dictate our training for the next four weeks as we lead up to this finish it's going to be your first taste of what the basic plan is going to be like it's a much higher level training plan it's much more personalized and customized to you and your needs so be aware that this is only the beginning the couch to 5k was only the beginning for you of your running career the basic plan is coming up and it's going to do some amazing stuff for you and the next four weeks is going to be as I said your first taste of that I'm excited to let you see it and get you moving forward that's all I have for you this week remember to push hard give it your best and when you're done with that you're going to put it all into the training times calculator and we'll see how that goes so remember set your goals stay consistent we'll make it happen